this video should come with a heavy duty boat nerdiness warning um, it's basically outlining the setup of the dodger that I recently put together for my CLC Scary. Um, the reason I've done this video is in response to a request from one of the YouTube viewers, um, Rob Kunzig, um, who asked if I could include the setup of the Dodger in a future video. So Rob, I hope this is helpful for you. The Dodger runs over a simple frame, which is basically a curved beam, which is just a couple of bits of ply laminated together and another beam which runs from the bow back to the curved beam. The cat showed me why I needed that central beam. A curved bit of PVC fits into a sleeve sewn into the rear of the Dodger. Um, the PVC pipe is hinged on two nylon hinges that fit into the forward or lock stations. A length of bungee cord is sewn into a hem around the perimeter of the dodger. The bungee cord has a loop on each end which fits into a hook screwed under the gunnel of the boat. I can see I'm going to need a better mechanism for attaching the central strut that runs from the, the, very, the bow to that curved beam. Um, it's fallen off. I'll have to fix that the next iteration. The side flaps are a bit scrappy as I run out of material, but they have a length of webbing sewn inside them, um, which attaches to the white bungee cord you can see, which also hooks onto those two hooks um, under the gunnels. In my polytarp prototype, I found that the bungee cord was insufficient to hold the side of the dodger down when there's any sort of wind or wave action. So I've put three turnbuckle fasteners on each side, um, which so far is so good. Um, I might have to increase the number of turnbuckle fasteners, but they're pretty nifty things. They're way better than snap fasteners in my experience. Yeah, getting the mast up is a bit like playing pin the tail on the donkey, but luckily the mast on the scary is pretty light and I'm sure I'll get better at it. So there you go, it takes about four minutes or less to set up, less when you're not filming. Um, and so far, so good. Um, Aussie certainly likes it a whole lot better.